smart children by the hand and watch your step on the new platform. The platform is moving at the same speed as your accommodation is here. Move your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the vehicle and please watch your children. Please take small children by the hand. Watch your step on the new platform. The platform is moving at the same speed as your accommodation is here. The select doors of the time machine are called the long way. For your safety, remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the vehicle. And please watch your For your safety, remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the vehicle, and please watch your children. slow-moving journey, your time machine will slowly rotate backward and may stop momentarily. For your safety, remain seated at all times. This is Spaceship Earth Control. Welcome aboard. On the map in front of you, please show us where you're from while we input your time travel coordinates. Surprisingly, the answers lie in our past. Since the dawn of recorded history, we've been inventing the future one step at a time. So, let's travel back in time together. I'll show you how our ancestors created the world we know today. And then it will be your turn to create the world of tomorrow. Here, in this hostile world, is where our story begins. We are alone struggling to survive until we learn to communicate with one another. Now we can hunt as a team and survive together. It takes 15,000 years to come up with the next bright idea, recording our knowledge on cave walls. There was only one small problem. When we moved, the recorded knowledge stayed behind. Now let's move ahead to ancient Egypt, because something is about to happen here that will change the future forever. This unknown Egyptian pounding reeds flat is inventing papyrus, a sort of paper. Papyrus, in turn, creates better record keeping of plans, designs, and unfortunately, taxes. But it also brings with it the dawn of great civilizations. At this point, each civilization has its own form of writing, which none of the others can understand. But the Phoenicians, who trade with all of them, have a solution. They create a simple common alphabet, adaptable to most languages. Remember how easy it was to learn your ABCs? Thank the Phoenicians. They invented them. were great inventors of the future. First, they established public schools, and then began teaching an intriguing new subject called mathematics. And with math 
comes mechanical technology and the birth of the high-tech life we enjoy today. With lessons learned from the Greeks, the Romans create a powerful empire. To move their armies around, they build a system of roads all over the known world. Rome built the first World Wide Web, and it's leading us into the future. But then we hit a roadblock. Rome falls, and the great library of Alexandria in Egypt is burned. Much of our learning is destroyed, lost forever. Or so we think. It turns out there are copies of some of these books in the libraries of the Middle East, being watched over by Arab and Jewish scholars. Call it the first backup system. The books are saved, and with them our dreams of the future. Time, here in Europe, monks toil endlessly recording books by hand. But that is about to change. In 1450, Gutenberg invents the movable type printing press. Now knowledge can travel as fast as these new books, and travel they do. Books make it easier to invent the future in every field. And the result is an incredible explosion of innovation we call the Renaissance. technology races headlong into the future and soon people all over the world are sharing life's most important moments faster than ever before. By now, we're all communicating from anywhere on Earth. And in 1969, from somewhere else. To send a man to the moon, we had to invent a new language, spoken not by man, but by computers. At first, very large, very expensive computers, but we see the potential. What if everyone could have one of these amazing machines in their own house? There's just one problem. They're as big as a house. The solution comes in, of all places, a garage in California. 
Young people with a passion for shaping the future put the power of the computer in everyone's hands. Together we form a super network that glows with billions of interactions. And once again, we stand on the brink of a new renaissance. After 30,000 years of time travel, here we are. A truly global community poised to shape the future of this, our spaceship Earth. Attention travelers, please remain seated. Your time machine is rotating back from the return to Earth. For the first time in history, all of us can have a say about the kind of world we want to live in. The choices we have made for the past 30,000 years have been inventing the future one day at a time. And now, it's your turn. Let's have some fun creating the future, shall we? On your computer screen, answer a few questions for us. Then we'll show you a new world, custom made just for you. Ready? that we happen to know about. That we happen to know about. And now I believe your future is just about ready. Let's take a look, shall we? Welcome to the future. Or should I say, your future. Here in your future, getting away on vacation is a breeze. Your smart suitcase knows where you're going and what you'll need. And with wind power from your home fueling station, you're off. Don't worry about the house. A PDA with remote control can take care of anything you forgot. You leave your country home in an ultra-light, ultra-powerful, totally networked family car that can take you anywhere. Since you like to wing it, your virtual travel agent gives you options for hotels and restaurants along the way. You can just relax and take things as they come. You'll never get bored on the journey because your car's holographic gaming technology keeps you connected to friends back home. You'll travel quickly and safely to places you can't imagine visiting today. And the moment you arrive at your ultimate vacation destination, you're out of this world and into the future. The end, or should I say the beginning, of your future. So here's to the next 30,000 years on Spaceship Earth. While no one knows for sure what we'll see or do, I do know it will be quite an adventure, an adventure that we'll take and make together. See you in the future. Welcome back, time travelers. Now, we invite you to visit Project Tomorrow, where new ideas and innovations are being developed to make the world a better place. Your vehicle doors will open automatically. Please keep your hands away from the doors and step carefully onto the moving platform.
Yeah. 